Hello everybody, it's Dr. Steve back with another episode of Core Wellness TV. Today we are going to talk about how to clean your house without hurting yourself and how to stoop and how to reach under things without tweaking your back, injuring your back and aging too quickly. So here's the deal. Uh, anytime you have to bend over and twist at the same time, you're running risk of injury. I just did a podcast with the Construction Business Mastery Alliance and teaching uh, Glenn Wilson over there and all of his listeners on iTunes how to uh, lift effectively without tweaking their back because they do a lot of that on the job. Well, we do a lot of that as just, um, you know, when, you, when we keep house, when we clean our house, when we do all kinds of things like that. So we are going to learn how to do that properly because whenever you bend and twist like this, you're putting your back at risk of disc damage. So the first thing we're going to do here, let's pretend we have to, uh, I do this a lot, I reach under my, I'm using this as kind of my desk or a, a desk or a, uh, a cabinet where you have to reach in and pull out a, 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 a trash can for instance. I do it a lot because I reach down and unplug my laptop uh, cord and I, so I do this a lot as well. Uh, first thing you have to do is be aware of the hip hinge. Well, let's back up even one more. First thing you have to do is be aware of your brace and your breath into your center. I've talked about this enough times now, you guys should have this. You're going to put your hands just above your hips and below your ribs all the way around and when you, you're going to brace like you're bearing down, cough, sneeze, bowel movement type brace while your kegel is on from below, your pelvic floor like to stop stopping the flow of urine or bowel movement and you're going to create this nice tight kind of compression or pressure around your center. That's your protection before you do anything. Before you do any movement, that should be on a little bit. So you're going to brace and breathe. And I say breathe because you got to be able to also breathe into that same area. You don't want your breath going up high into your chest. So you're going to brace and breathe. And then we're going to hip hinge. Okay? So now we've got our start, right? We're in a safe position. Because if we do it like this from the get-go, we're done. We're injured if we keep doing this over and over again. So hip hinge tail out. So that's the first thing you practice, right? We've gone over that enough. Your hip hinge. And you sh and if you're going to be reaching and doing this over and over again, for instance, if you have a janitorial job or something like that, you have to be able to rest your hand on your knees in this position. Okay? Because whenever you start reaching, you're going to have to kind of share the load somewhere. And by putting your elbows on your knees, you're going to be able to share that load and take that load off of your back, off of your spine, and make it less taxing on the body. So, so here we are, we have our hip hinge, our arms are resting, and now we have to do what? Now we have to twist. Remember I said twisting was the injurious part here? Here's how we do it. We don't twist from the spine, we twist from the hips. Okay, I'm gonna look, show you that from the front. We don't twist from the spine. If I'm gonna reach this way, underneath something, I'm going to twist, and I have to twist. I'll show it from the, from the back, from the hip, okay? My spine, is neutral. All the actions happening at my hip. But what happens if you have a tight hip? Then you're going to get to the end of that and then you're going to have to reach the rest of the way with your back. So you got to have good motion into your hip. And this one I'm doing right here is actually a really good hip mobilizing exercise. You get both feet down in a nice ready position and you reach. But you reach by stretching your hip. So that's the big thing, is you have to understand where your hips are. It's the ball and socket joint. All the movement happens around the ball and socket joint. I've done a, a video on this before, where I teach you and guide you into learn how to use the ball and socket joint so you don't use your back. So we're hip hinging, we're resting, and we're getting to the hip. Now, that's the safest way you can do it. That's the safest way you can do it. So what do you have to be able to do to do that? You have to be able to get through your hips in the back. So you got to need a little hamstring link, okay? You have sometimes you might need to use the, the famous piriformis stretch. If you just Google a piriformis stretch on YouTube, uh, you'll come up and you'll see me doing this stretch here. You can get benefit out of that. So those are some ways to start mobilizing your hips, okay? But you have to be able to do that or else you're going to tweak your back if you do this over and over again. The other thing you can do and make sure you do, especially if you're doing this all day, is change around. Make sure you do the opposite side. You want to reverse the process, right? You got to reverse the process so we don't keep damaging or we don't keep taxing and creating imbalance by doing the same thing on the same side all the time. 
The other thing you can do, if you're in a situation where you do that a lot, okay, is you switch up the strategy. Let's, the other strategy is, hey, how about let's do a lunge with it, okay? So here's what it's gonna look like. A lunge is gonna look more like this. See that? And maybe that's easier for you. And again, what I do, I hip hinged. First of all, I'm you know, braced and breathing. I hip hinge, I put my elbow on my knee to share the load. And I'm always pushing away from support points because we, we don't want to get up into it. You know, our shoulders all jacked up when we're doing work like this too. I hip hinge, push away, drop the knee down, do the job, back up. Okay, and especially good if you can have all of your stuff right next to you, your, uh, your trash can liner or whatever it is, do the job, change it, back in. That's very low stress. Okay, but what if you have to do this for five buildings and do this 150 times a night, right? Well, you switch up the strategy and you just get good at building up endurance with the lunge. Okay, see that? You get good at doing that. You, you turn your job into fitness. Same thing, other side. You switch around, turn your job into fitness. See what I'm saying? Turn your job, turn your life into an exercise because that's what it should be. It's more about how you do what you do when you do it rather than having to depend on doing 90 minutes of exercise every day. Why not live your life with good motion and good movement? It's how you do what you do when you do it that counts. Okay? So I hope those tips helped today. Um, there's some other strategies I'll share with you in upcoming videos that also relate to activities of daily living. And make sure you check out the podcast that I did for Construction Business Mastery Alliance, especially if you, if you know someone who's in construction or uh, in you know roofing or some kind of a, uh, of a contracting job. Uh, Glenn does a great job over there teaching people how to make sure they're successful. So go visit him, constructionbusinessmasteryalliance.com or on iTunes, uh, Construction Business Mastery Alliance there. And you can also hear my uh, recent podcast. I talked for oh, about 10 or 15 minutes on proper lifting and I posted a video up on his site as well. So check him out and uh, I guess that's it for today. So you guys keep thinking good thoughts, right? And keep eating good food and keep moving functionally every day, every moment. Because the moment is all there is, right? See you next time. Bye-bye.